Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. Ben, that's not how you do it. to another exciting episode. Did you jump a little bit? I think you jumped a little bit. I think you did. Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Yeah, today we're gonna break this box right in half, probably with a sword, maybe with a flamethrower. We'll see. Could you even imagine? I'm gonna probably ruin the cards. What if the magic carp's in there? Ah, <sighs> but I bet it is. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. It is time for what we like to call the Wheel of Energy, which oh, I, yeah. I can't I can't pick this thing up. It's probably the prop I'm most proud of in the it's, history of all of Super Carlin Brothers. It's pretty great. Let's see what it lands on today. Fireball. I'm calling Fireball. Calling Fireball? I'm calling, me fireball. calling your shot? Almost certainly will be the Orange Flames. Oh, so oh my gosh. gosh. Metal Energy. So this what? is so weird. Last time it was dark. There's only one dark. This time it's metal. There's only one metal. It was right next to fire, though. It, it was. was. I want the record to show and to know. In the meantime, though, you can let them know something else about some randomly chosen common chase cards. Yeah. That's segue, not so bad. <laughs> yeah, today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be Magnemite, Gothita, and to Titan, so no doubling up on the type advantage today. None whatsoever. But hopefully a little bit more common than last week, where I think we didn't pull a single Bramble Gas to the whole episode. None at all. Yeah, what was up with that? So yeah, to Titan. I feel like we've seen some to Titans. That's our uncommon out of the out of the bunch there. Um, otherwise, the Magnemite. I feel like we've seen the Gothitas. It's like that whole like lineup is left, right, center. So they're all over the place, man. We should see some high scores throwing down today. In the meantime, worth mentioning that Carly is still our far and away front runner with overall 80 points. We Ooh. are just waiting for someone else to strike. I am curious to see if Carly is in today's stack. I have no idea. We'll just have to see as we go. But first up today is Rozzy Thacking. Rozzy Thacking or Rozzy the King. Oh, and never, yeah. never. Been entirely clear. Rosie the King. Yes, yeah. that, would, that sounds better than <laughs> Thacking. I'll tell you what. Unless your last name is Thacking, in which case it sounds exactly correct. Exactly right. Let's see. Bam. Teardrop energy out of the gate. The Murkrow, the Mischievous. This this would oh the Gotham. Oh, the Gotham yeah, yep, the Corbinite yep. scores. This nice. is why I'm so used to the dark ones from last week. I know, you're the right. The Tauros, the Seguro, the Tad Bulb, and the Mimikyu will score as well. So just three points there for Rozzy the King. Goodness gracious. I feel like that Mimikyu could go down as like the most commonly pulled rare card in the entire We have seen a like, lot of season. them. I'm getting, I'm getting worn out on some Mimikyus. Worn out, man. To join the, the Quaxleys or right. Quaxwells. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the Quaquabbles. The Quaquabbles, that's the ones. Yeah, that's it, that's it. All right, next up we have Vicky, who uh, came out to an early 19 points, presently sits in eighth place. So, so it's probably about to leave eighth place. We're about to find out. We are about to find out. We'll set the code card aside. We'll See, do that. Salad we energy. Salad energy. Right with that. We got the Slack off, the Pikachu, the Kufant will score, Four. the Crow Gunk, the Practice Studio, the Florigato, the Quaxwell, boring. Jet energy. Oh, oh the Ben, the Gold Chim Pow. Oh, look man. At that. Oh, now my we gosh. know just regular base Chim Pows were like eight points. So this is the gold version. I don't actually think the rarest version, even. Let's but, see. Um, but it is. is a Solid showing at thirteen dollars seventy five cents. Wow. So that's going to be fourteen, 14 points. 15, 16? Oh my Goodness gosh, Vicky! Gracious. Throwing down some serious points so far. Up to thirty five points. That is putting her in second place overall. Very, very impressive. I mean, who gets showings like that other than you Margo? Know, we've said it before, though. It's like the people who pull seem to be able to pull, even though it is just pure randomness. You would think, I know, but Vicky is putting up some uh, some big points up there. Probably not on Margo's level of average points. Per pack, but um, still, still really impressive. Very impressive. And you get the champ pal. So, Enjoy that. You, know, okay. you can go win Very some tournaments cool. with that, probably. All right, next up, we have got 
Uh, crafty chick. C crafty chick. Crafty chick. I bet she could have made a, um, a, a wheel of energy. I bet so, I yeah. bet so. I made that one by hand myself. Well, not the wheel part, I bought that part, but I cut the cards and glued them on there, so oh, man. that was fun. That's cool. Did I understand correctly that when your son Luke was going oh, to kindergarten next week, we have type to advantage. Energy. That's times two. Did he need 48 glue sticks? Uh, you know this? what? I double checked it. It was not 48, but it was 24. 24 glue it's sticks. The, yeah. They, for one year for one student? I, yeah. Every student in his class on their list that says 24 glue sticks. Okay. That seems like a lot. My wife, who was a teacher, assures me that it is necessary because no one knows what happens to the glue sticks. They just disappear. But I was like, I remember bringing a glue stick for the whole year. Yeah, so I have no idea. Free. Anyway, Crafty Chick is like, please show the cards. Sandy Gas, Tarantula, Kilowattro, Azumarill, Vespaquin, Satoddle, not Satitan. We've got the Electrode, not going to score it. Oh, the Dedenne EX. So not, if I want to say that's only a one point card. Let's double check always just to be safe. We don't yep. want to leave points on the table, but you are correct. 61 uh, cents, just a, just a little bit of rounding. But because it's a full art, we will uh, sleeve it Sleep as for always. Anyway. Want to make sure that it gets to you safely and in mint condition. Uh, another one of those things that I feel like is worth bringing up every once in a while on the show is the fact that I know there are some people who are like, I don't understand how box breakers works. Like, th do people actually get the cards? And the answer is yes. Oh, yeah. not, they, these are not just like designated like who gets points. These cards actually go in the mail within to the next you. few days to the person themselves. So if yeah. you are interested in checking it out, patreon.com slash gaming. Yes, so that is um, that, that is definitely how it works. We're not just opening them, giving the points, and then keeping the cards. Exactly. Yeah. All right, uh, next up is Andriana, who has got two points on the season, just played in her first pre-release tournament for Scarlet and Violet. This must have been a little bit while ago because Obsidian Flames pre-release was this past weekend. I played in that myself. How'd you do? Not so great, yeah. yeah. It's like one and two. You're sort of at the mercy of whatever you pull. Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, but a you did pull bit. the Charizard. I so did pull the Charizard, yeah, so yeah. who really won the day, okay? Yeah, that's it, that's it, yeah. All right, so we got Pikachu, Slack Off, Watchroll, Flay Coco, Super Energy, Retrieval, Sudowoodoo, Pelipper, Rock Rub, the Sneasel, and the Tyranitar. Just a single point there. Man, not uh, Metal Energy not providing the points that the uh, last few type advantages have provided. It's true, it's true. I'll be curious to see whether or not uh, that doesn't do the heat things up for uh, that last place award a little bit if we yeah, end up right? getting a few more one pointers. Yeah, EK Sko down there at two points and 14 cents, 14 on, those cents. Two, on those two cards. The only thing that EK Sko could currently be doing better than what they're currently doing is if they had pulled two jump fluffs. Oh, we got the dark teardrop yeah. right there, but there this is go. not useful for this week. That was last week. It is not. Right now though, our next contestant is Becky Borst. Becky Borst. Hated rival of Beck Squad. There we go, that's right. We got the Moschiff, we got the Wingle, the Pineco, the Merrill, the Luxio, the Mabostiff, the Pupitar, the Grusha will not score. The, is that? No, no, it's not. Nope. The Oricoria will score. Hey. And the Slacking. And the slacking. So that's just a two point pack there just for a, Becky Borst. Just a two point pack for well, Becky Borst. Go. So yeah, you're gonna have to take that up with Beck Squad and see whether or not you guys can uh, figure out who's who's currently doing the best. I feel like Beck Squad also had kind of a low pull I think week. so, yeah. They're just sort of duking it out down there. Uh, let's see, so far all we've had is that like Golden Chimpal. I oh, know, so we um, gotta, gotta have some other fun good stuff is in here, right here. We've got Jeremy coming up next. Jeremy! Jeremy had can the gates swinging last season with a 26 point pack, but since then it sort of stalled out. It's been in a two, a one, a three. Let's see if we can turn things around with a raucous pummeling raucous energy. Pummeling. There we go. We've got the Merc Road, the Mischievous, the Sneasel, the Ice Cube, the, the Iono. Iono. That's, That's two worth points. A the Naka Stack, the Baxcalibur will score, the Wooper will not, and the Orthworm will. So that's gonna be a four point pack. Four points right so there. A little better than our previous packs, but uh, that brings the total to seven on the season. Gotta love it. Not bad for Jeremy, let's see. All right, next up we have Matt Cox. Matt Cox. Man, Matt Cox is an engineer that puts cables into space. Oh, that's cool. That's, that's an amazingly cool job. Thank so, you for doing that. Yeah, I think. I think. Um, been with us since like the, the very beginning as well. Oh, there we go, we got oh, the metal energy. As the type advantage, can we? Oh, the Magnemite scores the too. The Magnemite will score, there we go, you're right. right. That will be too. Phalanx, the Combi, the Delivery Drone, the Faradraf, <laughs> the Spy Tops. I, I just, you see how I just bought I do. Uh, the, that's our Jump Luff. That scores. Metal score, uh, only barely the Quaxley. Oh, and the low kicks. kicks. Oh man, so 
Three times two is just going to be six points on the pack for a total of nine on the season for Matt Cox and his uh, space launching uh, cable career. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There you go. Next up is Umbug. Umbug. Umbug likes to cross stitch. Nice. Man, had we, a, oh, go ahead. I was going to say that uh, Alice and I, we recently decided that we we're going to try to collect cross stitched uh, or like artifacts from places we've traveled. Oh, nice. Yeah, That's we got one fun. when we were in Texas. We we're like, this this seems like we could have a whole wall of these things. A whole wall of cross stitching. Yeah. So anyway, we're, we're into it. Man, okay, so uh, let's see. M Bug finished the season crazy strong with 78 points last season, but let's see if they can turn that into anything right now. They've only got two points this season. Love Disc, Flamigo, Bombardier, Skip Bloom, the Shrudel. Goodness. Oh, oh, oh it's not a critical hit. Oh, it's two Shrudels, but they're not the same. But they're both reverse. Reverse hollows. Wow, too. That's that is wild. crazy. What a weird um, occurrence. So unfortunately, no critical hit, just the Veluza for a single point in this particular pack. And what do they have in, la in the last pack? Two. Two. Okay, so maybe yeah. it's worth checking out that Veluza. I'm pretty sure it's it like out. seven cents. I want to say you're right. Number 56 on the set. The Veluza is seven cents. Seven cents, man. We are getting so good at uh, card values. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Starting to, starting what a to weird like, skill. Right. Like we guessing this is about seven it'd, be, cents. it'd be so funny if you were at tournaments, you were like seven cents. Seven cents. Thirteen cents. Thirteen cents. Thirty one cents. Wow. Low rarity over there. I look see. at that. Look at that. You know. All I right. like to play max rarity whenever possible. Absolutely. We got Tyler Gillies up next. Coming up. Has an identical twin brother. Uh thus far, thus far has two points on the season. Let's see if we can uh, get you something a little bit higher than that. The Gothito will score. That's a chase card. Meryl, Wingle, Pineco, Corvusquire, no good. Jet Energy, Fighting Olay, the Gothitelle does not score. The Watro does not, and the Rabsco will. That is the most boring looking rare card I've ever seen. Yeah, it's, it's just not terribly thrilling. What is it, like a dung beetle? It's basically a dung beetle, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 a little bit. Um, that's fun, well. Less interesting. Than, dung beetle than, coming your way. Enjoy Tyler. it. Enjoy it. As ever, frame it. You know. Yeah. Call your friends. Let them know that it happened. That's right. Shoot them a text. Yeah. Be like, hey yeah. guys, exciting news. I have a dung beetle card. I have a dung beetle card that I won on the internet. Next up is Brick Frog. Brick Frog. Brick Frog has had one good pack in their history here. Back in season five, they pulled a twelve pointer. Otherwise, they're at two, two, one, and two on uh, Pax Pulled, so Goodness looking gracious. for looking for something Woo. to break the mold here. I know, yeah, we need we need something need something heavy. There's my fireball energy. There it is. Oh, at the start it of the almost. day. We got the Bramblin, the Kufon will, will score, score. the Krogunk, the Satidal, the Fletchinder, the Toxicroak, the Aronguru, the Fletching won't score, the Love Disc won't score, and, and the, the Glamora. Oh, wow, Man. so another two-pointer for Brick Frog. I mean, at the very least, we can say they're consistent. That's true, that's true. I feel There's like we're that. just hauling through today's episode. There's not been a lot to, uh, to look up so I far, know. but you know what it means, as ever, is that it's the coming. energy is building. It is coming. We're going to have, I'm sure, some big pulls at some point here. Next up is Justin H., who's been collecting for 20 years. 20 years. My goodness. Man, very impressive. 20 years ago, 2003. Yeah. So we may have been out of it on our first wave by then. Uh, so I don't think we were collecting Pokemon cards. Maybe Yu-Gi-Oh? No. Yeah, it might have mm, would have been. Maybe, maybe uh, approaching Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're there right. You Thereabouts. For sure. Played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! back in those days. The Voltorb, the Fletching, the Clavel, the Dendra, the Palisand, the Raichu, the Faradurif, the nice. Dunsparce, and oh, another oh, Champau! There we go! Oh, okay. This would have been a great box if you were trying to play Champau. No kidding. Number 61 on the set. This one is worth $7.12. That rounds up to eight points. I think we had one of those last week. I think we did. So eight points. That's pretty solid. Uh, Justin H put together 10 points and uh, 10 points last pack eight points now for a total of 18 on the season that's going to put them at ninth right now so they're in a really good like quality eighth place uh scoring position going into their final pack of the season absolutely so not a bad spot to be in at all there we go and you get the chin pal so that's great next up is hogrid coming into the day with six points Let's see how we're gonna do. Can we capitalize, get a little more points on the board for Team Water? Ben, how's the team competition shaking up? I was just gonna say, I don't know if we have we our current, I don't it. know if we have our current leaderboard. Hang on one second, let me see if we do. We do, in fact, have our leaderboard. So Team Electric's currently in first place overall with 149, followed by Team Water, who is on their heels with 107. Team Grass, 
uh, has 71. And Team Fire in last place wow. with only 65. Grass points. has fallen. Grass, they really, truly have. But if you look at the top of the leaderboard, what's really doing Electric so many favors is that position by Carly with yeah. 80 points. Otherwise, Team Water is currently 2nd, 3rd, 7th, 8th, 9th, 11th, and 12th. Man, it looks like they should be crushing it, but Carly's 8 times multiplier earlier this season really outdoing it. But on the table right now for Team Water with Hogrid is the type advantage. So let's see if uh, they can put together some scoring points here. The Delibur, the Super Rod, the Mabostiv, the Quaxwell, the Seguro, the Makuhita, the Jigglypuff, and the oh. Hydreigon. Oh my gosh, so unfortunate. Just two, two points, points off the type advantage. Man. Oh, uh, Water is screaming right now. They've oh, no, just got like, eight points like That was our like chance, like the window was no. open. I don't, like, I don't remember is watching some women's world cup right now but it absolutely i mean it's just like like stoppage time ball crossed into the center someone in position like offsides you offsides know? It's just yeah like, come just, on were you up early watching that today not today but not maybe today. Like this upcoming sunday 5 a.m boom well, Tune uh, in. It may have already happened by the time this episode comes out. Either Absolutely way, it did. Maybe. Yeah, right. <laughs> they did it! Woo! Or they didn't. Well, you have to think they will. Right foot it Anyway, next up is Dalton Green, the uh, hated rival of Blue Suede. Blue Swede. Blue Swede. <laughs> Which we have, we've been, we've been corrected on. Blue Swede. Uh, we've been saying it wrong for quite some period of time. So Dalton Green, yeah, absolutely about to uh, throw down the yeah. gauntlet, as, as they say in the biz. Let's see here, was it the code card aside? We've got the dark teardrop mm. energy to set things off. We got the Jigglypuff, the Giraffe Rig, the Tropius, the Great Ball, the Passimian, the Reversal Energy, the Therapeutic well, the Energy. Oh, the Iona scores. Yeah, Reverse Hollow with that, pretty cool. The Sandy Gast will not score, and oh, the, the Jump, jump Buff. Buff. Wow, Worth just those five cents. Three um, points for Dalton Green, taking down our uh, uh, competing with the Blue Swede. Only has four points on the season, though. Man. They're like, they're like, they're like, it's coming down to the last like, one. That's, that's just it. it. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. There's plenty of time left. I hope there's lots of trash talk going on over on the Patreon, you know, Almost. down in the Discord server. Like, right. yo. It goes without watching. saying. It goes without saying. Yeah. It has to. All right, let's see. Next up, we have Stacy, who came out of the uh, gates with 12 points this season for uh, Team Grass, who desperately needs some points, I think, right? Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like it. Stacy's Stacey. actually in a, a, all points scored by Stacy at the moment will score for Team Grass, so that's good news for them. Let's see. Oh, I missed the energy. Let's see. It's going to be Fireball. There we go. We got the Noibat, the Quaxley, the Char Cadet, the Gothitelle, the Arctabax, the Giacomo, the Talon Flame, the Fighting Olay, and oh, oh! a full Art Grusha for Team Grass. Let's Man, see. What a cool looking card. Goodness gracious. I feel like that can't possibly be too bad for them. Let's see, number 253 on the set. $4.94, we'll oh. round up to five. Five points there, 17 on the season. It's not that bad, at least it's points on the board. That's right, that's right. I mean, 17 not. puts you in a tie with 11th place right now. That's pretty solid for uh, Big Steve scoring or quality eighth place scoring for Stacy. Man, this card just reminds me so much of the Iono. It's like, it just seems like it should be, if I could properly sleeve it here, it just seems like it should have a bit more of a punch, but I guess not. Right, the uh, the Illustrator Art Iono, we keep talking about the Magic card, but if someone else pulls the Illustrator Art, has someone pulled it, the Iono yet? I don't think so. I don't think so, yeah. yeah. If someone can pull the Illustrator I Art Iono, that is also the uh, actual most valuable card in the set. So um, I've not been holding my breath for it, but, uh, well, I, I'm gonna be thrilled if it, someone can get it. It is worth one hundred and five dollars. So it would be so, yeah. So no one's pulled it because they'd be in first place they'd be by in first a mile. Place. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, which is crazy. That means just pulling that card, even with someone having an eight times multiplier, it was it's not enough to beat it. Can, can you imagine if someone had an eight times multiplier and that card? No. Yeah. Oh my gosh. God. That would be the best. That would be a that'd be a new like, high score like that could eight, not be beat. An eight hundred and forty point play. Oh my like gosh. The dark teardrop. Man, if this had been last week, I feel like we. Having a bunch of those so far. The Voltorb. I Voltor. know. Uh, Radrif, Swilus, Spydops, Slowpoke, the Frigibax, and the Abomb. So it's just a single point back there for Dom, Family Man. Yeah, let's see. Number one. This is a nine cents for the Abomb Snow, just for record keeping in case but, it's, yeah. 
Uh, they, they already had 11 points, so they're probably not sitting in a... Uh, oh, you're right. There we go. Okay. Yeah, in a last place kind of position there for Dom of uh, Fast and the Furious fame. Yeah. Of Next course, of up course. is Andy. Okay, Andy is actually looking for a single point here. They, similar to EK Sco in the last round, have a one point and seven cents. One point and seven cents. So if they pull the jump bluff, they could actually really uh, screech into last place here. Which would be amazing to see happen. So we got the Rockus Pummeling Energy, which, don't, which won't do anything for us. The Shrewdle, the Phalanx, the Jiggly Puff, the Tadball, the Electro, the Vigoroth, the oh, Pencursion, the Mistress is doing nothing for us. Superior Energy Retrieval is nothing. And, and the, the Rabska. Rabska. Dude, Rabska, that's got to be worth nothing. It's got to be worth... Seven cents seems like way too much. Eight cents. Eight cents? Are you kidding me so, for this card? So EK Sco is literally, wow. by a razor thin margin, maintaining uh, that, that, that current last place That is crazy. It's literally so, one cent. That's on a dung unbelievable. Beetle. So Jeez. it's going to be, that's going to be a, a tight race to watch as we go into the, the final next month. That is. They're both hoping for just like one point, just like nothing big. Let's do it. They want that elite trainer box. That's the prize, by the way, in case you guys are unfamiliar if this is your first episode. If you come in eighth place, if you're the first person in front of Big Steve on the leaderboard, or if you're in last place, you win an elite trainer box for whatever the set is. And quality eighth place. Did you say that? Yeah. Eighth place. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And right in front of Big place. Steve. And then the first person overall wins an entire booster box. Entire booster so. box. So a lot on the line here. It's not just the cards right here. Next up is Faith. Faith. I think it's you. I think I've done like a couple. All right, let's do know. it. All right. Oh, three totally three points on the board so far for Faith. I like to think that Faith has faith in me yeah, and that see. I can pull something winning for them. Let's see. So it's been a second the, here since we've had like a nice big pull. It's true. We've got Salad Energy, got the Hop Hip, the Makahita, the Pink Kirsch, and the the I know that was no, last, last week. week. The Choice Belt, the Palmo, the Tinket Tough, the Therapeutic Energy won't do anything for us. The Gothita does will score for us. Oh, and the Quack Wobble, our uh, least favorite EX of the season thus far. And I think at 52 is only going to be worth 76 cents. So just man. a single point, so two points on the pack. On the Quack Wobble, man, we will, that is a bummer. We will sleeve it for you, but once again, I feel like we're still we got we gotta have something else. We gotta get something to merge in, in this in this. I mean we had boss. the gold chip pal. That was pretty solid. We did, we did have that. That's true. That's true. So there's been something. I just never want it to be over. I want I know, every pack I know. to be the I want best every pack. pack to be the best pack. I want I want the magic card, man. I want the Iono. Alright, next up we have got uh, Reagan, who has got 18 points. They have been crushing it. It looks like they had a, an interesting series of uh, multipliers in the last one because we've got a bunch of things I'm adding up over there. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. Uh, Ray, Ray Gone, by the way, not Ray Gain. Oh, Ray Gone. Ray Gone. Ray Gone. Ray Gone. Ray Gone. Bam, we got the salad energy here. We have the Relore, the Tad Bulb, the Frigibax, the Tandemouse, the Talon Flame, Heracross, Kilowattrel, Haunch Crow, the Mouse Hold, and the Spirit Tomb. Goodness gracious. Man, just a so, single point there from Ray Gone. Ray Gone. To 19 on the season. That is going to put them, though, actually in eighth place. If no I'm kidding. Not mistaken. Okay, amazing. Yeah, so depending on any other shifts that may have happened in today's episode, but that's a good spot to be in either yes. way. Our right, next up is littlekernels.com. Littlekernels.com. Who actually also has just a single point. With nine with cents. With nine okay. cents, though. So if they get the jump bluff, they can tie EK Sco for last place. All right, we'll I see. mean, it's a tall order, but... We'll see. The Giraffe Rig, the Great Ball, the Red Lore, the Quaxley, the Crocolore, the Grafai. Oh, there's the a Titan, Titan score, so yeah, that's, that's a more than one point. This, <gasps> oh, there we go! Oh, the, the Florigato! That is excellent artwork. Oh, oh and yeah. the Full Art Lycan Rock! Oh, Goodness wow. Goodness gracious. Okay, turned into now, a fun pack. We did turn into a fun pack, so there we go. We had something something spicy happen. So number 197 for the Florigato. Let's see what that does for us. It's gonna be worth five dollars seven cents. So six points right here. Bam. And then okay. the Lycan Rock. We're gonna see number 241. It's gonna be a dollar seventy nine, so it's six two eight nine nine. Yep, nine points over nine for LittleKernels.com. That's um, gonna bring them to ten on the season. Let's see that. So that's not a bad showing at all. And you know, it's so funny the frequency that I feel like we ended up getting like two full arts. Yeah, like in that. one pack. That's yeah, like, awesome. You know, you'd, you'd think that the Pokemon company would be aiming to like spread the love more, but instead they're like, no, we'd rather give you like a really. We want to. We just want to jackpot a few people. Yeah, exactly. There exactly. You go. There you go, with the Florgato, super cool. Put in your Masquerada deck. Next up is Aiden, who has also got the 1.7 cents. So another contender. Another contender. Boy, okay. the last, this is like the last place contender box right here. It really is. Can someone catch uh, EK Sko 
or which is a weird way to phrase it. Yeah, but so far in the lead by one cent from the last. It, it's always that it's EK Skinner because I can never say their name correctly. I'm doing pretty good today, I think. You're doing great. Yeah, absolutely crushing it. Hop up. This is what we want. We want no metal energy, no metal Pokemon at all. The Palmy doesn't score. And the Backscalibur. Oh, oh man. I think so it's that is a single point pack, but I'm pretty sure the Backscalibur is going to be like high on the single. Yeah, all things considered, we're 30 cents. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that is a, too that is useful. A rough card. single point card if you're looking for last place there. So you have 37 cents. But anything Ugh. could really happen. I mean, you know, the, and, the, it's still good. Right, yeah. I mean, if you end up in the, in like, because everybody else still needs to only get the one point one more time. Right. And then it's a battle for, like, who has the worst three points. Yeah, but if everyone else doesn't get the, it gets more than one point and you still just got that one point down there, you're doing great. You're not out. You're not exactly. out. Exactly. So don't, don't count yourself out. What do the Vegas odds say? It feels, this is the type of situation where it seems like they would weigh in and it'd be like surprisingly like. Yeah, it'd be like, actually, it's pretty solid. Yeah. yeah. It's really weird to get three single point packs. Exactly. In a row. All right, next up is Kitten Ninja. Kitten Ninja. Kitten Ninja! Favorite Pokemon cards are Charizard and Jolteon. No, not cards, just Pokemon in general. Those are those are good selections, though. Yeah, those we are. got Jolteon right here. We have a Jolteon right there. Bam. I don't know if you guys have heard, but I pulled a Charizard card this past weekend. Yeah, we heard. We heard. Yeah, we've heard. <laughs> we've heard. <laughs> uh, uh, that was a Fue Coco, the Wattrel, the Azumarill, the Vespaquin, the Ice Cube. Oh, Fue Coco, we got a critical hit, Ben. We got a critical hit. That's a two down multiplier. Oh, oh, what is this? It is the third Fue Coco. But it's it is, a different one. It is a different one. I'm not sure how this would work. If these had both been this one, would that have counted as a third one? <sighs> We almost need a new rule book. We almost, yeah, we have to consider such a thing. I can't imagine, that would be wild to pull three of the same card. I'm not even sure, like if this had just, even if just one of these had been there, we pulled like the illustrator art and this one, I don't know, I don't actually know how that would go I down. think it does, I think if it's yeah. the same, so like what you, what it comes down to is like, sometimes if you have the illustrator art, and the it, art. like if it said like a tackle as yeah. it's one attack, I think that it would be the same card. Okay, I so you would count would, it as the same? Okay. I would count it as the same. Okay, yeah, I would so in that case, it is possible to get three of the same card in a pack, which, Boy, you know, I never think these things are going to happen, and then sometimes they just do. In any case, let's look up what this Fue Coco is worth. Okay, so that's going to be worth $10.75, so wow. 11, 11 points. 11, so 12 with the multiplier is going to be 24, right? Let's see here. 10. Yes, yes, 24, yeah. you are correct. 24 are correct. points for math. Kitten Ninja. Math, 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 24, yes. And that this way, Coco is such a cute little card going grocery oh, shopping there. There he is. Just excited for all those canned beans. Man. Or peppers. Or peppers. <laughs> all right. Do you think they eat meat in the Pokemon world? I have no idea. <laughs> the ethics of, of Pokemon in general is such a strange conversation in general, so. Right? Yeah. Well. They certainly eat food. Something. Yeah. All right, next up is Gildruin. Uh, I think I'm going to say it's you. I've okay. Got, uh, your side looks way fuller than my side. Well, it's not uncommon for you to double down and for me to not double down. Half Just down. get excited. I know. Well, I mean, it's an exciting game. It it's is. It game. is. All right, let's see here. So we got the good omen of the Magikarp sitting right on top there. Oh, so we boy. love to see it. So we got the Magikarp. So actually, if they pulled the Magikarp, it would then just for, it, as of the rule we just established, it would count for the critical hit as well. It would indeed. So if you pull the Magikarp in this pack, you're doing pretty good. That's a great that's a great position to be in. We got the Lilio, the Rock Ruff, the Bravery Charm, the Gotharita, the Honchcrow, the Murkrow. Uh, which does not score, the Giraffe Rig will not score, and, and the, the slacking. slacking. So just one point, Gildruin, I'm afraid. There we go, all right, moving along. After two points in uh, the first round, so not doing so hot this season. Next up is Chadster. Chadster. Who has a single point as well, but they have 13 cents on that one pack. Right, so once again, you know, you really need to see something just truly pathetic to come across the board to feel like you're you're right. absolutely in there with EK Sko at the moment. Exactly, we've got another raucous pummeling energy. We've got the Wooper, the Noibat, the Combi, the Glimit, the 
Tinkatuff, the Pomo, the Gotharita, the Phalanx, the Tauros, Elf! Well, Wigglytuff, wow, you know that's what? a pretty bad card. Pretty bad, pretty bad indeed. Let's yeah, see balloon number. therapy. Let's see how we're going to do here. Number 84 worth eight cents Eight overall. cents. Well, there you go, Ben. Ask and you shall receive. That's going to be uh, 21 cents on the season. So not quite the 14 cents of EK Sco or even the 15 cents of uh, whoever else. <laughs> Add that. Of who, of you know what? If you're not in last place, I don't know yeah, if I can... there's not enough spotlight. There's not enough spotlight. You know, it's a lot to keep all. A lot to keep up, up a, a lot to keep track of. Uh, speaking of which, though, next up we have Collard Cow Forty One, who uh, similar position, been one point so far, but thirty cents. Thirty cents. Okay. 30 yeah. Cents. All so right. this is for sure the battle for last place is uh, is heating up. It is, it is indeed. All right, so let's see what we've got here. We've got the Fireball, Fireball energy. energy, which I had hoped for today. The Tinker Tank, the Pincursion, the Makahita, the Magikarp, the Faulkner, the Dunsparce, the Passimian, the Delivery Drone. We are really coming up short again on the uh, Randomly Chosen Common Chase cards. The Tinker Tank will not score, and the Veluza will. will. So, and look at this, we had two Tinker Tanks, but not matching. Not matching. So let's, number, let's check number 56. I'm pretty sure this one's worth seven cents. I think you're right, so. Um, it is indeed worth seven cents. Well, there you go. You got it. Back to back packs where people were looking for low value one pointers and they got them. Seven cents and eight cents, respectively. So we've got like four or five people now with two points after two packs. Okay. Okay. Looking pretty solid down there. I'm feeling like it's going to come down to uh, that uh, dollars and cents uh, value. Let's see. Next up, we have Alyssa. Loves the oh. cosplay. Oh. Next up, we've got Alyssa, loves to cosplay, draw, and write stories. Hey, how about that? Bam, Fireball Energy. Here we go. Tink a Tink, Shrudel, Glimmit, Bramblin, Iono will score That's for you. Right That's there. good. Knackle Stack, Calamity. Oh my That's gosh, a it's a Bramble Gas. Wow. Whoa. The first time in two weeks we've gotten one. The Kilowattrals right there, and the Weavile. So there we go. Three point pack. Just a measly three points there. Alyssa also had three points last time, so she has a season total of six points. Moving on, we've got Brawn. Brawn! Brawn, uh, who sits upon the Iron Throne, if I'm not mistaken. Bran? Uh, Bran. 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 Brawn is the uh, Brawn of the Blackwater, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the one who's Never with, mind. with Tyrion the whole time. Mm. There we go. All right, so we got the Teardrop Energy right out of the gate. We got the Palmy, the Sandy Gas, the Larvitar, the Tarantula, the Pseudo Wudo, the Grusha, the Primeape, the Rookidy will not score, the Grafii will not score, and oh, the, the Garnacle. Garnacle. Wow, another single point pack. Let's see. This is one. not the box, is it, man? It is not. Nine cents for that one. Would that have been a relevant wow. detail? Not no. necessarily. They've already okay. got three points right there, so. All right, next up we have A-Town. A-Town. A-Town, who is uh, coming in with two points themselves. Let's see how they're going to do. Their wife is pregnant with their first baby! Whoa! Man, that's as of... Uh, well, that was a while ago. That could have been as of season three, which means that it, it, it's very possible that the baby's now here. Well, it says new as of 8-1, which is today. Oh, wait! That is today! Oh, well then! Congratulations that we are recording this on August 1st. We are indeed. There that is so go. exciting. To, that is so exciting for well, you. Well, let's see if we can pull something big for your baby. Here, I know, yeah, right? yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Big, Start the big college old. savings fund. Look at this, fund. baby Frigibax. Tandem mouse, little, little baby mice together there right there. The Sprigadito. Little basic baby cat there. The Magnemite will score. There you go. Oh, you're right. The Magnemite is the chase card. The Haunch Crow, the Calamitous Wasteland, the Primate, the Delibird, the Mabostiff, and oh, the Clonsire. There, there you go. go, your okay. baby spirit animal. Amazing. Wow. It has been assigned. There you go. Let's see, 74 cents for the Claude Sire. So just a, uh, two points on that pack overall. We'll oh, sleeve two it up points for you. Over there. It's going to be four on the season. You guys knew how Sigil is apparently like catfish, I guess. Oh, man. You know, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. No. I can't wait to uh, receive your family crest in the mail. Yes. Yep. Yes. Featuring to, uh, the, the, the to mighty Claude. To meet sire. your boy Claude. <laughs> <laughs> it all came down to that. You're welcome, by the way. All right, next up is Cal. 
Uh, they're coming in. They're coming in with a single point too, man. What is with this day? What is with this day? We're about to find out what is up with this day because we're about to see if Cal does something interesting. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's see. That's what see everybody's it. been waiting. Oh, for. there is the metal, metal energy. energy. Wow. I almost forgot that was even in play today. It's been yeah. so it's been so foreign to it. We got the Litleo, the Slowpoke, the Rockruff, the Palmy, the Corviknight will. Oh, actually that does. Score. Yeah, the, the rare Viper, metal Pokemon. The Tauros, the Vespaquin will not score. The Nimble will not score in the, the Luxray. Lux Ray. Oh, oh my gosh! So just two times. Two points. is four points there. You're right. Oh Overall, so five on the season for Cal. Uh, the good news is the cow's been collecting as since they were a child and they were excited to get back into it. So they've got a good, they got like a bunch of cards. There you go. To walk home to anyway. All right, next up is Karen. They have got six points on the season. Yeah, look how many more times I've grabbed than you. You got <laughs> This is like an embarrassing number. Of like, I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, what's it, you know? It is. It's, what's embarrassing is that neither of us catches it. I know, I know, I know. I know. Yeah, it's like, but look at this from like the overhead. It's like, I have, Jay has one left and I have like six. Yeah. Or five. Bam, all right, Lightning Bolt Energy here for Karen. Knackley, Nimble, Shinx, no, that, that was, was last, last week. week. Rookie D, Grusha, Miss Magus, Bramble Gas. Wow. This again is showing up left, right, the and center Sprigatito now. The Tito and the, the Palmod. Man. Man, well, there it is. Just a single point again. So seven points. Goodness gracious. We are really slogging through today's we box. Are, I want to say something great has got to be left. It seems you like hope. it. All right, next up is Marcos. All right, Marcos. Marcos has three points on the season. They are really in the name of the win because of SCB. They Ayo. were a philosophy major. Boy, Ben, they could host a podcast with you. No kidding. Yeah, it seems like it seems like all the things I like to talk about is just name of the wind and philosophy. There you go. We got Char Cadet, we got the Murkrow, the Mischievous, the Sneasel, the Miss Magus. Oh, oh. oh Mischievous, Miss Magus. There okay. Bramblegast Bramble is back. Again. We got the Toxic Croak, the Mankey that Jay loves so very much, the Practice Studio, and the, the Hariyama. Hariyama. So just a single, a single point. point again. Wow. Man. After like, so I feel like we went through weeks and weeks of almost no one getting a single point, and this box is just not, not delivering. Up next is Fran. Fran. Here we go. Apparently my last pack. Apparently. I'm Let's excited. See. I have plenty to do with the rest of the episode. Right. I'm well keep done. My hands you. busy. I won't get bored at all. I got you, Fran. Don't worry about it. This is the magic card, probably. <laughs> probably. Probably. I can't promise that. Water. Water. Okay. Good Water. omen. Yeah. Shinx. Nimble, Moschief, Wooper, Corvusquire, Artisan, Tauros, Dendra, Dieno, and the Gyarados. You oh my gosh, so pretty it close. It was pretty close. It was pretty Water close. Water Gyarados, come on. Come on, you know, I will give you, I will give you a reason why you thought that that was the Magic Heart <clears throat> pack. You know, it's, instead it it's like just, it's just it. a single point Gyarados pack. It is hilarious that we're so fixed on the Magic Heart and not the Illustrator Iono when I think I, it's I, worth twice as much. I think it is, but the Magic Heart's so cool. It's cool. All right, Ben. Cool. Let's see. Next up is Omega. Omega. Here we I go. believe Omega has won a season. Have they not? Omega has won a season back in season two, which, you know, back then you can remember 58 points. Oh, back then. Back <laughs> then. Uh, we had barely even days. We barely even invented rules at that time. Oh, no, right. Dark Tear Drop to lead us off. The Larvitar, the DNO, the Sandy Gas, the Tarantula, the Luxio, the Knackle Stack, the Corvus Squire. The Raichu will not score. The Mimikyu does score. And the, the Obama, Obama Snow. Snow. There's your just, favorite Mimikyu, Ben. I know. Uh, it's starting to really just wear me out, unfortunately. We've just seen too many of them at this point. So two uh, point pack. I, hopefully you enjoy it because I don't. Man, basically thundering up the leaderboard with two points today <laughs> is Omega. Next up we have Mistivos. Mistivios? Mistivios. I can read. Nice. Mistivios. Let's see. They've uh, started the day with two points. Uh, we missed the Go Fest last year. Hey! Yeah, well, there you go. By the by, we'll be at Go Fest again this year. That we will. The weekend of October 14th or 15th? The Saturday in the middle of October. Whichever one that is. Gothita of scores. There we go. Meryl, Wingle, Pineco, Crocolore, Pelipper, Fletchinder, Tropius. Uh oh. Critical hit, Ben. We got it. A critical hit Pineco on the Spirit Tomb and the Gothita. So it's always fun when it happens. Unfortunately, it's only two times two for four points. Goodness gracious. So almost something could have exciting happened there. At least, I, it, once again, I always love when the rule comes into play, but yeah, not, not exactly the heavy hitter like we've seen it be in the past. There we go, Mysterious. All right, we have got two packs left to save us. To save the box. I know, let's see. So we've got Jessica Mullins. Jessica Mullins has three points coming in. 
I, I, I believe I knew a Jessica Mullins in high school. Really? Wouldn't that be interesting? If That's that was crazy. It was this person. There's your raucous pummeling energy. We got the raucous pummeling. We got the Murkrow, the Mischievous, the Sneasel, the Moshtiff, the Jet Energy, the Fighting Oled. How the many darks? Bossdiff, the Mashtiff again. Oh, a double critical head again. Then we got a critical head again. There we go. Look at that. So we'll double everything. We got the Slack Off, which won't score. And, and the, the Chiyu. Chiyu. Man, I don't think we've seen that card all season. I don't think so. Number 40 on the set, though. It's a front pager, meaning it's only worth 84 cents or just one Man. point times two is going to be two points. Oh, no. No, the critical hit. Just, Oh, no! man. Well, Jessica Mullins, you did your best to try and save this box. You hit a critical hit. You hit a full art card. And you were you know? doing, you, honestly, I mean, we, we have to give you the, the award for, for most effort in today's episode, because you really did. I mean, you brought it. You brought it, and you gave everything you could give. You did, and you know what? It was worth two points. Yeah. So there you go. Five points on the season thus far for Jessica Mullins, and we have got one pack left today for Tina Dodge. Which one will it be? Tina Dodge. Oh, here we go. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Can we do it? Can we? Do we feel the Iono? Do we feel the Carp inside here? Do we feel the Tyranitar? Even you know, maybe other Iono. Could be anything. Could be anything. It could be anything. But let's face it, it's probably like a Rabsta or something. Bam! Teardrop energy. Okay. Tink a tink. The Mankey feels like a good omen. The Delibird. Super Rod. Vigoroth. Orangaroo. Electrode, Snover, the Giacomo, and the Hydrajon. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. So just a single point. Oh, what a bummer for Tina Doge, who was thinking maybe I'll close out this episode. Maybe I'll go like full Illustrator or Gardevoir in the last pack. We've seen it before, but no. Nope. Guys, I have to say, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry if you happen to be in today's round of contestants for week two of. Uh, Pack two. Yeah, that was a slog Man, for sure. And there were a, a couple one. of cool, couple of cool. We had the golden today. Gen pal. Yeah, so yeah. so some things to look at, but really, I, there was the Fuey Coco. The Fuey Coco was good. Yeah. There was the the Lichen Rock and the Florgato pack. That was yep. a pretty good yep. double up right there. There was even just regular Gen pal as well. Right. But man, no giant big packs out of this one. Not whatsoever. We we got to see Ek Sco really hang on to that that last place you know position really really firmly with the fourteen. Right. The battle points. was just somewhere else today. It's, yeah, it's you know? exactly. It wasn't at the that's top exactly of the leaderboard. Right. It was at the bottom of the leaderboard, right. and that still counts. It still counts for something. Maybe less. Maybe not less. It's hard to say. I'm not really the one who gets to ultimately decide. You are. Hopefully thank you, you so had much. fun either way. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in with us. As ever, if you would be interested in being a future Box Breakers patron, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Uh, there should possibly be some spots available. If not, and if you're looking for a spot in the future or would like to be on the wait list, we have a link to that as well in the description down below. Otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!